Hi, this is Bryce with Phytec Fuel Injection. Last week on our 1965 Pontiac Le Mans, we showed you the setup of a 5.3 liter LS engine with a 4L60. We got it running and driving, but this week we're gonna go into the transmission settings and show you how to change the shift points and the shift firmness in the handheld. So we got the vehicle keyed on, we got our handheld powered up, we're going to go into the Go EFI tuning section, and option number seven will be the first one we go into, 4L XOE upshift offset. This menu allows us to adjust when the transmission will shift based upon mile per hour. Now the numbers on the right is the change from zero, higher mile per hour, or if we go lower, it's a less mile per hour. The value doesn't sit directly on the mile per hour, but what you need to remember is less is a lower mile per hour that you want it to shift at, and a higher value is a higher mile per hour that you want the system to shift at. Now the system is broken down in the one, two shift, the two, three shift, and the three, four shift. And each shift has a different TPS input. Zero, 15, 50, and 75% throttle. So on a low throttle input of 0 or 15%, you'll likely want to have a lower input so it'll shift sooner, and then we could also soften it with the line pressure later so we could have a smooth driving situation with low throttle inputs. But once you get up to a higher throttle input of 50 or 75%, we'll want to increase the value so we run the gear out longer, and then we could also set it up to have a firmer shift. So this is just kind of an example of where I have the system playing at right now. I'm always playing with my shift points just to try to see how I can have a more sporty shift or a more um, comfort shift. So we're always playing around with these values. This one is drawn kind of in between the two where it runs up to about 2000 to 2600 RPM between shifts. Uh, if it's light throttle input, it's at the 2000. If it's about 15, it goes up to about 2600 and then higher up it'll go even higher in the RPM range. Our next menu will be the 4LXOE downshift offset. The same situation applies. If you lower the value, you're decreasing the mile per hour in which the system will then downshift. If you go higher with the value, it increases the mile per hour in which the downshift happens. So this has the 2-1 downshift with the same TPS inputs the 3-2 downshift and the 4-3 downshift. You just kind of decelerate and the system will downshift as it goes down. If you want it to follow closer, you'll start to play with these. So if you let off and you get down to about 20 miles per hour, it will put you into second gear so you can have a quicker throttle input. The next menu down is our 4LXOE line pressure. Under the line pressure menu, we also have our breakdowns of first gear, second gear, third gear shifting, as well as fourth gear down below. With this, you can adjust how firm the shift is between the first gear and the second gear shift, or the second to third gear shift, and it will hold the line pressure higher in certain gears. So with this one, at a lower throttle input of 10% TPS, you may want to have a lower value and then as you give more throttle, you'll increase line pressure to give a firmer shift to your next gear. So again, this is how I have it set up in this menu. I have just kind of started it. So everything's kind of at a rough number, unlike our uh, upshift offset. But that's how you adjust these menus. And the very last one would be the torque converter. We've already input some of the values in here, like the tire diameter, the gear ratio, and the max upshift but we could also change the delay of when the torque converter clutch turns on and off. So on delay would be 1.75 seconds, so once it deciphers that it wants to turn on, it'll delay that turn on, and then it'll also delay the turn off. We could also set up a mile per hour, so if the engine, if the vehicle's traveling under this mile per hour, it will shut off the torque converter no matter what, and if you get above a certain mile per hour, it'll turn on the torque converter. And then there's also an RPM threshold on it as well. So 
So a lot of these values you can get down in a lot deeper. You don't necessarily have to mess with them like uh, the unlock at low or the DTPS, which is a throttle input. So I hope this explains some of the settings for the upshift, downshift, and line pressure with a 4L60 or a 4L80 transmission. This is more of an introductory video to get you started with the tuning. Later on, we'll dive in a little bit deeper into how to adjust the transmission, as well as how to adjust some of the fueling adjustments in an LS system as well. So thank you for tuning in for this week's Fitech Tech Tuesday. And be sure to comment any questions that you have or suggestions for our future videos down below. And we'll see you next Tuesday.